know what's going on in the corners of my mind. Lord, in all my circumstance, you see me. Wow, what a beautiful, what beautiful morning. On, standing in my way. Thanks for joining me. Praise, your name. praise God. Bless you. Bless you, bless you, bless you. What a delight to see you up so early today. 31 days of wisdom. 31 days of wisdom. We're in the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 5 today. Bless you. Boy, these goats are up early. It's going to be a hot day today. Nearly 80 degrees at sunrise. That's unbelievable. Well, let's take a look at Proverbs chapter 5. First of all, I want you to recognize what King Solomon is writing about. He's writing and teaching about... God bless you. It's good to see you this morning. God bless you. God bless you. He's writing about our secret weapon our greatest secret weapon. I call it self-control. I'll explain why in just a moment. There are three observations I want you to look with me at. Number one, sin will attract and entice. That's the very nature of sin. The Bible describes in Galatians chapter five that sin is a battle. It's a battle between our sin nature and the Holy Spirit working within our lives. Paul the Apostle writes this secret weapon, self-control, which is a fruit of the Spirit, is our power to conquer and overcome anything. Now here's the deal, as King Solomon is writing about the sin nature and its appetite and its nature to entice, in Proverbs chapter 5, verse 3, for the lips of the immoral woman are as sweet as hung, hung honey, and her mouth is smoother than all. But in the end, she is bitter as poison, as dangerous as a double-edged sword. Now here King Solomon is writing about this immoral woman but I want you to enlarge your study today of Proverbs chapter five, because this immoral woman, this immoral woman is actually speaking more than human sexuality and lust. It's, it's teaching us about the sin nature. Now I love Oreo cookies and Rocky Road ice cream. And the path in the grocery store that takes me down either one of those aisles is going to lead to my destruction. I want you to recognize when King Solomon is writing about the immoral woman, he's writing about our sin nature. It can deal with debt and spending too much. It can deal with gluttony and eating too much. And of course, it can do with all kinds of chemical and alcohol abuses. And of course, it can do, deal with sex itself. Some would call it casual sex in our generation. Here's the key, is he's writing about self-control. Listen again very carefully to Proverbs chapter 5, verse number 3. For the lips of an immoral woman are as sweet as honey, and her mouth is smoother than oil. But in the end, she is bitter as poison as dangerous as a double-edged sword. Now he goes on in chapter five, verse 21 to write, stay away from her. Don't go near the door of her house. Now when it comes to Rocky Road ice cream, I've got to stay away from that door. But each and every one of us have all kinds of struggles and temptations. Some to have a negative attitude some to gossip, whine, or complain. In verse number 23, King Solomon wrote, he will die for lack of self-control. He will be lost because of his great foolishness. Again, the sin nature and overcoming it 
by self-control to clearly understand what the Bible teaches about sin and the sin nature, we turn to the writings of the Apostle Paul in Galatians chapter 5. The sin nature wants to do evil, which is just the opposite of what the Spirit wants. And the Spirit gives us desires that are opposite of what the sin nature desires. These two forces are battling with one another. You are not free to carry out your own intention during this battle. But thanks be unto the Lord, he gives us the Holy Spirit. And now we read in chapter 5 of Galatians, verse 22, that when the Spirit controls our life, we have all kinds of fruit of the Spirit, like kindness and gentleness, goodness and faithfulness, joy and peace, love, and of course, self-control and patience. In James chapter 1, verse 4, the Bible says, temptation comes from our own desire, and that desire will entice us and drag us away. These desires give birth to sin, and when sin is allowed to grow, it gives birth to death. King Solomon warns us to stay away from the door of sin. Oh, I'm so grateful for the what writing and how we can grow in the wisdom of the Lord. And I'm so grateful that you are reading through the book of Proverbs with me, one chapter at a time. It's been an incredible week as we have looked and read together chapter one, two, three, four, and five. And we are only just beginning some of the most powerful Proverbs in all of the book of Proverbs are found in the next seven chapters. And that's where we're going to be this coming week. God loves you and so do I. I want to encourage you today to walk in God's spirit and not in the flesh. Be blessed today and remember that the Lord loves you and his grace goes before you and his peace is right there within your heart. God bless you.